بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته Math Grade 5 We are in Chapter 12 Lesson 7 Geometry Today we want to learn what the meaning of three dimensional figures what the meaning of three dimensional uh, figures See with me now this song on adapted mind to learn and earn rewards on your learning adventure level up sphere cylinder pyramid cube cone they're all 3d shapes there are many places to find a sphere like if a tennis ball happens to roll near you can shoot a sphere playing basketball and you see one in the sky when the moonlight falls planets and spheres whether red or blue the barons and machines are tiny spheres too marbles are spheres that roll around spheres are exercise balls that bounce up and down spheres are shapes that are perfectly round like balls that tend to roll along the ground let's go Soup can. They look the same from New York to Japan. Pens can be cylinders we use every day. Power rolls are cylinders that bring power our way. Toilet paper rolls are cylinders too. If the missing bases are added by you, some jars might be cylinders as well. When it comes to straws, it can be hard to tell. Cylinders have two circular bases that are congruent parallel faces. Let's go! Very tall, those umbrellas look like pyramids before rainfall. Trees can look like pyramids, such in the sky. A pyramid block of cheese, give it a try. Some house rooftops are pyramids too, and some perfume bottles with scents that are new. Pyramid shaped paperweights on a desk, looking their best as they stand so picturesque. With the base and apex and faces, pyramids are found in the most wondrous places. Let's go! Sphere, cylinder, pyramid, cube, cone, singing to the microphone. Crystal cubes can be grown in tubes. Blocks are cubes. Much of the time, clocks can be cubes, making hourly chimes. A box in the mail might be a cube shape. Ice cubes can cool your ice cream shake. Some cube containers store food in the fridge, and some concrete cubes can hold up a bridge. The faces of a cube are all a square, so we can spot them almost anywhere. Let's go! Ice cream, not some witches are cones that might make you scream. Orange cones can show dangers in the road. Deepies are cones that make a great up bow. Castle turrets are cones to watch outside. A flashlight's cone of light is a great bad guy. Cone shaped cups may hold something to eat. Your shoes look like cones when they're on your feet. With a circular base and a pointy vertex, cones are always a favorite 3D object. Let's go! Visit numberrock.com for exclusive content, lesson materials, and more. Thanks for watching.
ممكن سؤال؟ يس تل مي هذه آخر حصة This is the, this is the, the third period In the last period? Yes, not the last period This is, this is the third period Not the last okay. period Okay, so today we want to learn about the meaning of three dimensional figures So this, uh, see with me now this video Good grammar and spelling are important, but if you want to write essays that inspire, 2D and 3D shapes. Children, you have learned about plane and solid shapes in class 2. Let us now revise and consolidate our knowledge. Plane shapes are those that can be drawn on the flat surface such as paper. It has two measurements, length and breadth. So it is also known as two-dimensional or a 2D shape. Square. A square has four sides. All the sides of a square are equal. A square has four vertices. Rectangle. A rectangle has four sides. The opposite sides of a rectangle are equal. It has four vertices. Triangle. A triangle has three sides. It has three vertices or corners. Circle. A circle has no vertex. It is a closed loop. It can be traced with a one rupee coin carom coins, etc. Children, now let us know about some solid shapes. Solid shapes have three measurements, length, breadth and height. So a solid shape is also known as three-dimensional or 3D shapes. Solids have faces edges and vertices. Some of the shapes of solids are Look at the shapes of objects shown here. All these objects have the shape of a cuboid. A cuboid has 12 edges. The point where three edges meet is called a Vertex. A cuboid has eight vertices. A cuboid has six faces. In the given figure, three faces are visible and three are hidden. Count the faces of your book. It has six faces. One front face, one back face, one top face, one bottom face, and two side faces. Look at the shapes of objects shown here. All these objects have the shape of a cube. The die with which you play is a cube. A cube has eight vertices. 12 edges and 6 faces. Children, we have seen all the objects shown here in our daily life. All these objects have the shape of a cylinder. A cylinder has no vertices. 
it has two curved edges and three faces. One face of a cylinder is a curved face. Two faces, that is the top and bottom of a cylinder are flat. Children, now take a look at the shapes of the objects shown here. Each one of these objects has the shape of a sphere. A sphere has one curved face. It has no vertex and no edge. Children, now look at these familiar objects. All these objects have the shape of a cone. A cone has one vertex and it has one curved edge. It has two faces, one curved face and one flat face. All solid figures have three different views. Top view, front view and side view. Okay class. So today we want to learn how to describe properties of three dimensional figures. For example, describe the faces, the edges and vertices of the three dimensional figure below, then identify the figure. The figures has five faces. Here we have a triangle, as you see. We named the triangle here face. And down we have a triangle. Also, we named the face. So now we have two faces. And here in front of we have rectangle. We named face. So we have now three faces. And here in the back, we have rectangle. Also face. So now we have four faces. And here we have rectangle also. This is, this is the uh, face. So now we have five faces, five faces. The two triangular faces, this is the first triangle and this is the second triangle. The first base, the second base are congruent and parallel. This base and this base Parallel are parallel, and this space and this space are congruent. The figure has nine edges. What's the meaning of edge? The line here between the two faces, the line between between the two faces, the named here edge. So we have here one, two, three, and here we have four five, six, and here we have seven, eight, nine. So means the figure has nine edges, the edges that from the vertical sides of the rectangles are parallel and congruent. This, this side parallel and congruent with this side and parallel and congruent with this side. And this side parallel and congruent with this side. This side parallel and congruent with this side, and this side parallel and congruent with this side. The figure has six vertices. What's the meaning of the vertices? This is the point here, the point between two lines here means the vertices. We have here one, two, three, four, five, six. So the figure has six vertices. The figure is a triangular prism. The name of this figure, triangular prism. Uh, this figure, a 3D shape, 3D shape or three-dimensional shape. Why? Why? Because here, here, as you see, we have length, we have width, and we have height, and we have height. So why 
the name of this ship is triangular prism because the base is a triangle. The base here is a triangle. When the when you have the base a triangle, the name of this figure will be what triangular prism. Here, the name of this ship cube. Cube. We name we named the square here. The square here face. And here we have face. And here we have face. And here we have also face. And here down face. And in front of here we have face. How many faces we have here? We have six faces. The first one here at the uh, in front of here face. This is one. And in the back here we have one. Also will be two. And here in the side one and here in the side two so will be now four and we have up one and down one so two plus four will be six faces will be six faces the name of this side the name of this side edge the name of this side edge and here edge and here edge this is edge this is edge so the edge the line between two faces the line the line between two faces this face and this face so how many how many edges we have? We have a 12. Count with me here. One, two, three, four. And up we have four will be eight. And here we have four will be will be twelve. Here one, two, three, four will be will be twelve. How many vertex? This is the vertex, the point between two lines or three lines. This line and this line and this line the will be meeting here in this point the name of this point will be vertex how many vertex we have here we have one two three four five six seven eight so we have eight vertices we have eight vertices so what's the meaning of three dimensional figure or dimensional figure means has length and width and height one two three three d three d what is the difference between a three d and two d two d just has just has length and width and the three d has length and width and height what is the meaning of face is a flat surface is a flat surface what is the meaning of an edge is where two faces meet what is the meaning of a vertex? Is a point where three or more faces meet. As you see here, this 3D ship. The name of this ship, rectangular prism. Rectangular prism. What is the meaning of rectangular prism? A rectangular prism has six rectangular faces as you see here in the orange color here we have rectangle and here we have rectangle this is one and this is two and here we have rectangle this is a three and here in the blue color we have rectangle this is four and uh, at the bottom here we have rectangle in the brown color so it will be five and up here up here we have rectangle so we have six faces each face each face is rectangle is rectangle and the 12 edges why 12 edges count with me here this is one this is two three four five six seven eight nine ten and then we have eleven and a twelve so we have 12 edges, we have 12 edges and eight vertex, eight vertex. This is one, this is two, three and four up and one and here two and three and four down. So I have uh, four, uh, I have eight uh, vertex, four uh, down and four up. What's the meaning of triangular prism? triangular prism as you see this figure the name of this figure triangular prism 
triangular prism 3D shape, but the face or the base will be triangle. The base will be triangle. When you have 3D and the base will be triangle, the name of this shape will be what? Triangular prism. Triangular prism has a triangular basis. The first base here, triangle, and the second base here will be triangle. It has five faces. Uh, this is the first face, the, the first triangle here, the first face, the second triangle here, the second face, and here we have, as you see, we have here rectangle. Th this is the third face, and here we have rectangle. Here we have rectangle. And this is the fourth face, and here at the bottom here we have rectangle. So this is the fifth face. So we have now five faces, five faces. And we have nine edges. This is the first edge. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. So we have nine edges and six vertices. This is one, two, three, four, five, six. So we have six vertices. استاذ يس تيل مي استاذ مطوع يقول ان قال لي اقول لك تسوي له ريكويست اوكي ا كيوب ا كيوب اور ا سكوير بريزم ذا سيم مينينج ا كيوب اور ا سكوير بريزم ذس شيب از ا كيوب ذس شيب از ا كيوب كيوب is a 3D ship, but all faces will be squares. This is square, here square, down square, inside square. So all faces here will be squares. So has six square faces, six square faces. This is here one, two, three, and four. And here in front of five, and in the back here, six. So we have we have six square faces, six square faces. Then we have a 12 edges, 12 edges. One, two, three, four. And here four will be eight. And down four will be 12. So we have 12 edges and eight vertices. This is one, this is two, and this is a three, and here four. Five, six, seven, eight. So this is our lesson today. This is our lesson today. Today we learned what's the meaning, what's the meaning of three dimensional uh, figures. What is the difference between uh, two sheep, two ships, two, uh, two sheep and three sheep? Or, or what is the difference between, sorry, what is the difference between 2D and 3D? Now, uh, what is our lesson today? Three-dimensional figures. Three what is the difference between 3D and 2D? 3D is uh, has height and uh, and edge and face, but 2D. Is the only uh, have uh, edge and face? Great, great. Uh, the difference between 2D and 3D, 2D just have uh, length and width. Just have length and width. But 3D have length and width and, hi and height. Length and width and height. This is the difference between 2D and 3D. Uh, today we learned. What's the meaning of rectangular prism? If the 3D uh, have the base rectangle, the name of this shape will be rectangular prism. And if the 3D have the base triangle, so the name of this shape will be triangular prism. And if the shape has the face uh, square, the name, the name of this shape 
square prism or a cube square prism or a cube and we learned today what's the meaning of the face what's the meaning of the edge and what's the meaning of the vertex now go with me to the elif program Stop. yes مستر أنا قلت لك المشكلة اللي عندي في الموقع قلت لك إياها على الواتساب وكلمت مستر أحمد آتي وإن شاء الله بحل المشكلة بس اليوم ما أقدر أحل أنا طيب This is our lesson today three dimensional figure the number of our lesson 18 I want to from all today when you finish your schedule to go to your account and please solve this lesson and send me your result. Hi, do you like to make crafts? Some crafts such as bracelets and necklaces are made with beads. Beads can come in all sizes, shapes and colors. Latifa is looking for some special beads in a crafting shop. First, she wants to make name bracelets for her friends, like this one. How can Latifa describe the bead she needs for this bracelet? Let's think about this bead shape. Like all beads, it is three-dimensional. Do you know what a three-dimensional object is? Of course, it is a solid object. You can measure its length, width, and height or depth. In this lesson, you will learn about some three-dimensional shapes and how they can... Which of these three-dimensional shapes need with a letter on it? The beads for Latifah's name... Let's... Wait. Cube. This is one of the three-dimensional you will learn more about in this lesson. Latifa also wants beads with a different shape to make some necklaces. Do you know what three-dimensional figure this bead looks like? It looks like a triangular prism. Latifa can ask the shopkeeper for beads that are cubes and triangular prisms. You will soon learn about another prism, the rectangular prism. You will also learn what attributes each figure has and how you can describe them using those characteristics. Your lesson objective is to classify three-dimensional figures. Are you ready? You have been learning about three-dimensional figures. A prism is a three-dimensional figure with two parallel congruent bases. You are studying rectangular prisms, cubes, and triangular prisms. They are all three-dimensional figures that you can describe by talking about their faces, edges, and vertices. Let's review. What is the face of a prism? No, not that kind of face. A face is any of the flat surfaces on the prism. What is the edge of a prism? Correct. The edge of a prism is any line segment where two faces meet. Here's one more part. Can you find the vertices of this prism? Right. A vertex is a point where any three faces or edges meet. Don't forget the plural of vertex is vertices. To describe and classify a prism, we talk about its shape and number of faces, number of edges, and number of vertices. Look at this building. It is a... Correct! A rectangular prism. How many faces does a rectangular prism have? And what shape are they? What is the right answer here? How many faces in rectangular? Yes. Yes. 
How many faces? How many faces in the particular person? Is it six or four or six? Six. Six faces. Six. Yes. A rectangular prism has six faces. There are the top and bottom, which are called bait, and four side faces. How many edges does it have? Right again, 12 edges. The four around the top base, the four around the bottom base, and the four vertical segments that connect the top and bottom base. How many vertices does it have? They are the corners. Let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. A rectangular prism has six rectangular faces, 12 edges, and eight vertices. A cube is a special type of rectangular prism. It also has six faces. But all six spaces are congruent squares. A cube has 12 edges and eight vertices. That leaves one more prism to discuss, the triangular prism. Have you ever seen a building shape like a triangular prism? This one is. How many faces does a triangular prism have? And what shapes are they? There are two bases at the top and bottom, and they are triangular. And there are three side faces, which are rectangles. So, a how many faces a triangular prism have? Is it three or five or seven or four? Five. Five. Five faces. Five. Triangular prism Three. has faces. Five. Five. How many edges does it have? Why five? The first triangle up one, the second the triangle down two, and here in front of we have five, uh, five. We have three, and here back we have four, and here in the second side we have five. So we have five faces have. That's right. It has nine edges. And how many vertices are there? Yes, there are six vertices. Good thinking. You paid attention to the differences between rectangular and triangular prisms. Good job. So this, are, this, are, this is our lesson today. We learned today three dimensional figures and what is the difference between 2D and 3D and what is the meaning of rectangular prism and triangular prism and cube or square prism. So who has a question now? Who has a question? It's Mr. Green for all. Repeat, please. Mr. Can you start? Uh, Mr. Yes. Yeah, turns first. Yes. Let us to take attendance now. Grade five G. Today, Sunday. And this is the third period. Asil here? Can you do a voice first? Yes, I'm here. Yes. Aliazia? Aliazia here? Mr. I am here. Aliazia here? Aliazia, where is Aliazia? Absent? Jude? Here. Great. Renard. Renard. 
Where is Rinat? Absent. Absent. Okay. Rauda Nasir here. Shamsa Faisal. Return here. Great. Sheikh Ahmad. Yes. Sheikh Abad. Yes. Ali here. Yes, Mr. Ali here. Mr. Can we leave now? Yes. Thanks. Dean, who's today? Lean. Where is Lean? Absent? Okay. Maria. Maria. Maria Khanaf. Yes, I am here. Yes. Arwa. Mariam. Mariam. Here. Mahra Faisal. Mahra Faisal. Yes, Mr. Yes. Mujahid. Yes, Mr. Great. Nagam. Nagam. Yes, Mr. Yes, Great. Mr. Noura. Noura. Yes, Mr. Great. Uh, Hajar. Hajar. Yes, Mr. Great. Uh, Mahara Khalfan. Mahara Khalfan. Yes, Mr. Yes, Mr. Great. Great. And now all girls, you can leave now. Boys. Uh, Bati. Bati. Bati, absent. Harib. Harib. Uh, Hamad Ali. I'm sorry. Great. Mansour Ali. Yes, Great. Hamdan Al Kabi. Hamdan. Hamdan Al Kabi. Mr. Mr. I'm not Okay. Tarik Khalid. Nastar. Okay. Daniel. Mr. Abdul Hadid. Yes. Daniel. Yes, Mr. Zayed. Zayed. زايد هير زايد مستر المهنية شو اسمك انت What's your name? Saeed Muhammad. No, I'm Saeed. Okay. Sultan Ali. I live? Yes. Sultan Ali. Sultan Ali. Absent. Sultan Ghazi. Sultan Ghazi. Amir Ahmad. Amir Ahmad. Amir no, Ahmad. Stop. Okay. Abdullah Al Hamadi. No, no, Mr. Great. Abdullah Rashid. Stop. Abdullah. No. Okay. Abdullah Al Jabiri. Stop. Can I leave? No, yes, Mr. Abdullah, Allah Rabbi Alaihi. I mean, I didn't, I didn't finish the exam. The fifth week, the last week, I mean, I put you at zero now. ما قلت لك ما ما كان عندي وقت مثلا ما كان عندي وقت تسوي شو ما كان عندك وقت يعني شو عندك خير مكا خلصت دوام على الساعة تنتين كان الامتحان أنا يعني لأن حط... عندي وقت يعني حط صفر لأنه ما طيب خلص على راحتك صفر إن شاء الله راح حط لك صفر في الامتحانين لأنه ما عندك وقت 
عبد الله مسعود عبد الله مسعود عبد الله الجابري نعم تحصل على عالم الناس نعم ترسل واجبات لا استاذ العبد المسعود نعم لا بدك تحط امتحانات منين بدي اجيب لك علامات انا منين بدي احط علامات شو الاهمال هذا يا عبد الله شو الاهمال ما بعرفك هيك يعني استاذ هذا الشباب هات بيقول لي انا ما عندك ما عندي وقت ما عندك وقت للمدرسه بصير هالكلام شو الطلاب هي؟ عبد الله مسعود نعم استاذ اوكي عمر اشرف نعم استاذ موجود جريت عمر عبد الله خلفان استاذ كان يليف يس عمر الشامسي هذا اقدر اطلع يس عمر الشامسي عمر طيب فلاح فلاح الشرياني نعم نعم اوكي مايد استاذ نعم استاذ محمد احمد الحمادي نعم استاذ محمد سهيل محمد سهيل مستر محمد سعيد ما قلت محمد سعيد موجود اه محمد سهيل موجود محمد مطاوع سيف مطاوع مطاوع معاذ سيف So this is our lesson today. Thank you. Have a nice day. See you tomorrow. Start.